We're glad to have you join us on this episode of NAVTIP on the Move. I'm Angela Adwiki. Our package today brings you a recap of NAVTIP activities in 2022. It's a must watch. Don't go away. Stay with NAVTIP on the Move. Twenty twenty two was a very remarkable year for NAPTIP. The agency built new partnerships, sustained and strengthened the national, regional, and international collaboration with all partners, stakeholders, traditional rulers, sister law enforcement agencies, and civil society organizations. With the current trend of online recruitment by traffickers, NAPTIP initiated partnership with Meta owners of Facebook, WhatsApp and Instagram, and the U.S. Center for Missing and Exploited Children. This partnership has informed several online reports and rescue of missing children in Nigeria. The agency signed Memorandum of Understanding with its counterpart in Gambia, the National Agency Against Trafficking in Persons, NATIP. In collaboration with partners and the private sector, the agency organized a week-long series of events to mark the World Day Against Human Trafficking. Starting with a press conference, a walk, debate by university students, activities at the shelter for victims, premiere of a film on organ harvesting, Madam, it's tough on us as well, but justice must prevail. And a grand finale. It is no news to us that the agency in charge of trafficking in Nigeria is NAPTIP. Now, NAPTIP, from their statistics, have shown that 61% of trafficking that takes place in Nigeria takes place internally, that is within the state and across state lines. Technology helps with easy recruitment. Through the use of social media, these traffickers can establish a relationship of trust and confidence and use it to entrap these victims. Where awards were presented to the winners of the debate. These 16 days of activism was also commemorated in collaboration with partners, with several activities organized to create awareness on gender-based violence, starting with daily vodcast. Walk.
community dialogue with traditional rulers and sensitization at the six area councils of the FCT and an awareness creation on the content of the VAP Act for the deaf community in the FCT. The sustained strengthened partnerships informed a lot of awareness campaigns. The agency's partnership with the ARC Group, a Canadian non-governmental organization, is instrumental to desensitization of the transport companies on issues of trafficking in persons as a preventive measure. Other preventive measures employed within the year is the sustained conversations with NAPTIP, an online interactive platform with the general public on the activities of the agency. Grassroots sensitization by the zonal commands and liaison offices. The agency also continued its inauguration of vanguards against trafficking in persons and sexual and gender-based violence in Unity schools. Over 50 schools have been inaugurated so far. The social media handles of the agency were very active with conversations, reports and information which indeed increased followership. The agency also ensured the implementation of Regulation 2019, the Trafficking in Persons Control of Activities of Organization and Centers, another preventive measure to curb human trafficking in Nigeria. NAPTIP's three key policy documents were approved by the Federal Executive Council in February and March 2022. The National Action Plan, the National Policy for Protection and Assistance to Victims of Trafficking in Persons and the Protocol for Identification, Safe Return and Reintegration of Trafficked Persons. These documents were presented to the public at the agency's 25th National Stakeholders Consultative Forum in April 2022. The agency also developed the NAPTIP Disability Inclusion Policy Document, constructed ramps in the premises and ensured integration of sign language in all its programs and events. Victims' protection and welfare is paramount to the management of NAPTIP. In 2022, in collaboration with partners, a TIPSOM project, NACTOL, IOM and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the agency repatriated victims from Mali, India, Ivory Coast, Dubai, Ghana, and so on. Also, in Nigeria, NAPTIP rescued victims of human trafficking and survivors of sexual and gender-based violence. The agency organized Survivors Co-Mentoring Platform Series 2 and 3, as well as medical outreaches in collaboration with ICMPD. The victims were also empowered at the various zonal commands. Gratitude to God and with thanks to the UK government, we hereby commission the new building. In Benin, 27 bed shelter, commissioned by the Director General, was constructed and donated to NAPTIP by the UK Home Office Modern Day Slavery Nigeria program. In the FCT, in line with the Violence Against Persons Prohibition Act, the agency appointed trained and deployed 12 protection officers to the six area councils in the FCT. The activities in these area councils has enhanced the implementation of the VAP Act, curbing the incidences of sexual and gender-based violence. NAPTIP's prosecution efforts in 2022 was phenomenal. The agency secured 80 convictions, the highest since the inception in 2003. This has been attributed to the strengthened collaboration with the judiciary since Dr. Fatima Waziri Azi assumed office in 2021. The agency's collaboration with the National Judicial Institute and the Judges' Conference, organized by NAPTIB, is instrumental to this, apart from other efforts by the agency. We never had it so good, so rosy since the establishment of the agency in 2003. Uh, this is the time we have broken and surpassed the previous records of achievements and successes. Achievements and successes in terms of the number of cases investigated and prosecuted, number of victims rescued, rehabilitated, trained and empowered, number of people uh, enlightened 
educated about the ills of human trafficking and even the number of staff trained and exposed to the nitty gritty of uh, their job. Well, this time around we will say we thank God because for the first time since the establishment of the agency in 2003, we have achieved a record of 80 conviction in a year. And this was made possible through the hard work and dedication of staff under the watch and able leadership of our committed and dedicated uh, Director General Dr. Patima Waziri Azi. Within a year, we were able to record this conviction or these successes because success is not only in terms of the number of conviction as i said earlier successes in terms of the number of cases investigated successes in terms of the number of victims empowered successes in terms of the number of staff trained and exposed to the nitty-gritty of their job so this is uh, what made it possible for us to achieve what we have achieved last year well, this year, God willing, we will be able to achieve the record so far achieved or even surpass the record we achieved uh, last year. It's because of the motivation, as I said earlier. We are having a lot of motivation. Last year in December, uh, some people were rewarded, including my humble self, were rewarded. So this really for us, will encourage us to do more. And all the staff will be having a kind of uh, a healthy competition, particularly among the zonal commands. In the 2022 Trafficking in Persons report by the United States Department of State, Nigeria maintained its Tier 2 status due to NACTIP's investigation, prosecution and conviction efforts. All these achievements have been informed by the consistent training and retraining of officers, renovation of the offices for conducive working environments, provision of working tools, strengthened partnerships with relevant stakeholders and result-oriented leadership of the Director General, Dr. Fatima Waziri Azi, who presented awards to deserving zonal commands, officers and directors for their performance in 2022. Speaking on the activities of NAPTIP in 2022, she highlights some of the events. Despite um, resource crunch, which was global, by the way, I would say in 2022, NAPTIP performed above average. And um, the reason I say that is because we had a number of firsts. We exceeded a number of um, benchmarks and targets that we are set for ourselves for the year 2022. Our partners came through, stakeholders united, and um, the public consistently called out perpetrators, especially on social media. And my NAPTIP officers were fierce. They worked harder than ever put their lives in, in harm's way doing their job. So in 2022, we were able to expand our operational structures. We amplified momentum across the agency's um, five prone approaches of um, prevention, protection, prosecution, and um, partnership and policies. We secured 80 um, trafficking and persons convictions for the year 2022 the highest in a single year since the inception of NAPTIP in 2003. And um, we were also able to secure four violence against persons um, convictions in the FCT with the support of our supervising minister, Hajia Sadia Umar Farouk. We were able to get approval from the Federal Executive Council for three key policy documents, not one, not two, but three policy documents in a single year, which really was a very big deal. She also speaks on repatriation of victims and disability inclusion. Even though we were overwhelmed by the number of Nigerians trafficked 
outside our borders in 2022 because 2022 was really really crazy we had nigerians trapped everywhere who needed to be rescued and repatriated and back home iom came through for the country um, the national intelligence agency came through for us they assisted naptip in a lot of rescues and repatriations the ministry of um, foreign affairs also did their bit and the nigerian missions abroad also um, did their bit and everyone came through also with the assistance of the national commission for persons with disability in december we were able to transcribe um, some of our key policy documents our laws and um, ic materials into braille for for the blind including the production of audio visual materials for the hearing impaired and the blind and we did this to walk our talk because of course we 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 consistently try to enhance um, disability inclusivity and the first step we did was obviously putting ramps you know around the the agency's um, hq and also the development of naptips um, disability policy and for the first time 10% of our workforce received mental health um, support. This was um, supported by UNFPA and um, this is to help them flourish in the present and enhance their um, capacity to handle stressful times and events in the area of their professional lives. So like I said, all in all, I think, I don't know what other people will score NAPTIP, but if I, you know, I'm given the opportunity, I will say NAPTI performed, you know, above average. We look to strengthening our transborder cooperation with other states mm -hmm. because when it has to do with, with rescue and repatriation, we all know the, the principle of um, sovereignty of nations. You can't go into another person's um, country just like that. So there are laws that guides cooperation between countries. And the more fluid cooperation we have with, with more countries, the easier it will be in terms of rescue and perpetrations. We had you know, a number of success stories last year, especially coming from Ghana, coming from India, and uh, even Egypt. So we, we look forward to amplifying this cooperation and expanding our partnership. In recognition of the agency's phenomenal performance, NAPTIP won the Best Agency Award, while Dr. Fatima Waziri Azi won the Best Administrator of the Year Award. And the Best Administrator of the Year Award goes to Fatima Waziri, the DG NAPTIP. <laughs> NAPTIP is the Best MDA of the Year. The Social Justice Awards, which was conducted through a voting process by the general public, was organized by the Public Complaints Commission in collaboration with the Public Administration and Social Consult. For the DG and the agency, there is more to be done. So for 2023, our goal is just to scale you know, the achievement of 2022 and also break new grounds the Trafficking in Persons Prohibition Enforcement and Administration Act is currently undergoing um, amendment in the National Assembly. It's currently at the public hearing um, stage. And um, this effort is driven by the chairman of, of, of the House Committee on Human Rights, Honorable John Day. So we hope that before the end of 2023, we'll have a brand new act 
which will have um, stiffer penalties, which will also incorporate um, current trends because we see current trends like um, illegal mm -hmm. um, adoption, um, orphanage um, trafficking, and the reason why we are doing this is because of course as the crime of human trafficking evolves our laws our policies and our strategy must also evolve um, with it we look forward to diligently implement the national action plan on human trafficking 2022 to 2026 which has already benchmarked priorities for 2023 so all we need to do is operationalize these um, benchmarks then of course we are also look, looking to expanding the trafficking in persons and violence against persons vanguards into command secondary schools navy secondary schools um, air force secondary schools and also police secondary schools last year we were able to um, established this vanguard in 54 out of the 110 federal government unity schools. So in addition to covering the remaining federal government unity schools, we are also breaking ground in um, military secondary schools. So we, we, we look forward to working with this, uh, with the different um, arms of, of the military to make this a reality. And also, NAPTIP is going to be 20 in 2023, so we intend to make a splash. To enhance the fight against human trafficking, the agency will strengthen collaboration with the states. Then we'll also be covering the remaining states yet to have state task um, force on human trafficking. As at last year, um, we, have, we currently have 22, 22 states with um, state task um, forces across the country. The last state that was established last year was Quara, but this year our goal is to cover all the remaining states that are yet to have the state um, task force. Then of course we are looking to expand the NAPTIP on the move route sensitization. Um, program that was supported by the Canadian government and implemented by ARC. This was something we that was done last year in collaboration with um, Cross Country, GUO and ABC. So this year, with the statistics we got from last year, the inc incremental cases of people being trafficked from northern Nigeria, especially Katsina, um, Sokoto, even Jigawa, we thought it was also very important for us to, to expand this sensitization to critical states in the north and we've been having conversations with um, the Canadian government about it and uh, there, there's a possibility that this project will be expanded so we're very excited and also you know, have more opportunities for mental support for more NAPTIP officers because the work we do here is very draining. People say, you know, when you go home, you leave work at work and you go home. But in our case, we can't, we can't do that because what we see every day, what we hear every day is, is really alarming and it's really heartbreaking. So we must have that ability to protect our, our mental health and our mental space. Else, what you do in your professional life, you will gradually take it into your personal life. So we look forward to having more opportunities for more staff to, to, to have uh, mental health support. So finally, in 2023, we look forward to continue working with our amazing partners across the, the, the globe to design um, creative solutions for ways to better understand and tackle human trafficking. As the saying goes, the reward for hard work is more work. Indeed, NAPTIP is not relenting. 
the agency is leaving no stone unturned to ensure the fulfillment of its mandate. NAPTIP is on the move. For more inquiries and support or to report cases of suspected human trafficking, violence against persons and child abuse, please call NAPTIP hotline 0703-0000203 or the short code 627 or email us info at naptip.gov.ng. Visit our website www.naptip.gov.ng. Follow us on our social media platforms at NAPTIP Nigeria or watch our videos on YouTube. We can go on and on and on, but time will not permit. Thank you for watching and do join us again next week when we bring you another episode of NAPTIP on the Move. My name is Angela Abwegi. Bye for now.